The Space Needle is Seattle's most recognized landmark. In fact, it's one of the most recognized landmarks in the U.S. There's 848 steps from the bottom to the top, which you can take if you're feeling like a workout, or you can chill like us and take the elevator. Next stop, observation deck. We are high above the Space Needle on the observation deck. We got Dave here, who's the marketing manager. Um, before we talk about this incredible view, let's talk about why the Space Needle was built. Well, we were built in 1962 as the centerpiece of the World's Fair, 605 feet tall and solid as steel, and it's made out of steel, so I guess that's easy. Solid as steel. <laughs> like it, like it. The view, man. You get to do this every day. Yeah, I've been here for 14 years and I never get tired of it. Uh, this is Elliott Bay in Puget Sound, Seattle's home to one of the largest ferry systems in the world. What's great about this part of the country is that you can go out there in the morning and catch salmon during the proper season, then come back into work. Now I heard that there was a practical joke played on April Fool's Day. Tell us about that. There was a show that had joked that the needle had fallen over. Right. In fact, the, the story goes that there was a, a gentleman that lived over in Spokane whose daughter happened to work here and he was worried about her, so he drove over to make sure that she was okay. <laughs> he believed it. What's your favorite thing about Seattle? My favorite thing about Seattle, as you can tell from my, my physique here, is probably the food. <laughs> you know, I mean, Seattle's got amazing seafood and, and, and great wine in this region, of course. And, and it, you know, we've got a great restaurant just 20 feet below us that I know we're going to see later on. We're going to check that out. What are we going to do down there? We're probably going to hang out. Famous. With, yeah, it is world famous. We, in fact, we just won an award. We were the 2009 Washington Wine Restaurant of the Year. So we're going to meet. Thank you very much. We're going to meet up with executive chef Jeff Maxfield, and he's going to let you come in the kitchen and mess around a little bit. We're with executive chef Jeff, which rhymes here at Sky City. Now I'm told you're one of the most serious chefs in Seattle. Don't mess around with you. That's right, don't mess around. At Sky City, we, we focus on Northwest ingredients. You know, we, we really want to highlight what, what the Northwest is famous for. Dungeness crab, you know, it, it's a uh, take on the home style mac and cheese. Dungeness crab, or orquete pasta. One of our other uh, kind of unique items that we do as a, as a starter here. This is a, a flatbread. It's an unleavened flatbread. We use shepherd's grain uh, whole wheat flour from Eastern Washington. Uh, we've got an organic egg uh, baked right on top. I'm going to put you to work. We're going to do two of our uh, signature dishes. So this is a butter sauce. It's a burr rouge. So it's a, it's a take on a classic sauce. Everybody kind of knows burr, burr blanc. This is burr rouge. This just means red butter. What we're going to do, this is just a little bit of that right on the bottom of the plate. These are uh, locally grown uh, banana fingerling potatoes. And behind you, the finest Northwest salmon. Look at that. Huh? That's awesome. Who said I couldn't cook? All right, John, we've saved the best for last. I thought we were done. <laughs> Whoa! This is a 1962 original, our Lunar Orbiter. Snoqualmie Gourmet ice cream. Oh my God. Chocolate sauce and dry ice. How's everything tasting? It's amazing. Awesome. And I think that's going to top it off. It's going to be the perfect ending.